everybody. I'm Beth Johnston, your residential real estate agent, and I help people buy and sell homes, but a lot more than that. I help people take care of their most important investment. My relationship does not end after the sale. It continues because I want to make sure that you're happy. I want to help you take care of your home, and I want you to meet Roy. It's one of the reasons why we're here today is because when it comes to taking care of your home, a lot of people at some point need to paint. And painting isn't quite as simple as you think. You just don't take a can of paint, pick out the right color, and put it up there. There's a lot more involved and a lot more to think about. So I've got Roy here with Paint It Right. He's got how many years? 42 years? 42 years. 42 years of experience. He knows what he's talking about. So I want to bring the best. My relationship does not end after the sale. It continues because I want to make sure that you're happy. I want to help you take care of your home. And I want you to meet Roy. It's one of the reasons why we're here today is because when it comes to taking care of your home, a lot of people at some point need to paint. And painting isn't quite as simple as you think. You just don't take a can of paint, pick out the right color, and put it up there. There's a lot more involved and a lot more to think about. So I've got Roy here with Paint It Right. He's got how many years? 42 years? 42 years. 42 years of experience. He knows what he's talking about. So I want to bring the best to you so that you can take advantage of his knowledge and take care of one of the most important investments of your life. So anyway, getting back to painting, when it comes to the exterior, tell us what's really important and what do you well, do? The, the, one of the most important things is doing the proper preparation. You know, you read the back of a paint can label and most of what's on there is what you need to do before you open the can of paint. And there's too many contractors out that, that don't worry about that and certainly with your expertise in real estate, you're looking for those type of people that are going to bring total solutions to customers. Yes. And the work that was done here is a good example. This cap was replaced and rebuilt a few years ago. And too often, painters don't do carpentry or don't know how to do it well. And carpenters don't like to paint. Okay. At Air Company, we've got paint it right and carpentry done right. And when we're replacing a piece of siding, a piece of trim or whatever, we cut it to fit and then we prime the edges, the backside, totally sealing it so that future water getting in doesn't do this. So apparently what happened was when the person replaced this cap that looked similar to this, they didn't treat this. You can see it was never primed. It was never done anything to keep the wood from continuing to decompose. And when they put a new cap on there, now it's dark and any dampness that gets in there, uh, it's perfect. It's a log laying out in the woods rotting. So I we're having to rebuild the bottom okay. and the top. If we were doing this repair back then, and what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna patch all of this and then coat this entire top and bottom with a resin that encapsulates the wood fibers to keep them from breaking down any further. Okay. Then we can paint it, then we can rebuild it, and then you've got a situation, that, a, a solution that's gonna last. Yeah, that's great. And, and when it comes to your home, if you can um, find the, the source of the water issue, yeah. then you could be saving a homeowner a lot of money in the we long run. always look for why is the paint peeling. Often you'll see on top trim, where you've got 30 feet, no peeling whatsoever, and then you got about a two foot section where it's peeling. And people, so many contractors just scrape that, prime it and paint it and keep going. Yeah. We ask, that paint was probably put on the same product, same time, same weathering, why is it failing there? Look in the gutter, maybe there's water traveling down a gutter spike or something or flashing that needs to be corrected. Fix that and then it won't keep peeling. Uh. I really do appreciate all that extra time and effort that you put into your jobs because I know sometimes they get delayed because the solution isn't more important than just put, putting the paint on the house. Well, like you always say, Beth, this is usually the person's biggest investment. Yeah. And if they don't paint it right, it's not going to last. And there's, I, I think the advice that I would give homeowners is really research who's doing the job for you. Okay. Painting estimates are the hardest thing to compare apples with apples because you don't know how much preparation they're going to do. You don't know if they're going to power wash. So we are very transparent. We say exactly how many hours we're going to spend washing the outside of a house, okay. prepping it, priming it, painting it. They can see everything. And then if they can get other contractors to give them that sort of breakout as opposed to just a number on the back of a business card, they really can decide is our Royce guys either really slow or are they doing a lot more work and that's what we want. Okay. for our house. Okay. Stay informed. That sounds good. 
Well, I dropped in on Roy at the very last minute. This is such a cool house. Will you take a minute and tell us more about what's behind us? Yeah, this was a house that was originally, the original part was built in 1835. It was an old um, farmhouse that served the um, community. I don't even know how much of the fan existed back in 1835, <laughs> um, but also took care of downtown areas and up in Church Hill. And it was, uh, you know, a place where you got your, your meats and eggs and... That's wild. Um, not many people remember. I, I remember when milk and eggs and things were delivered to your front door mm -hmm. and that came from a, a farm like this or like Maymont was a real popular farm back then that's, for Old that's Richmond. Really neat. That's really neat. Well, this is a beautiful home. Thanks for letting Thanks. us drop by. Well, I appreciate it. I hope you guys found that helpful.